Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is gonna be on my everyday makeup look. Y'all request this so often, so I finally did a updated, I guess, natural everyday makeup tutorial. Sorry if there's noise in the back. My boyfriend is watching some YouTube videos himself, so don't mind that, but we're gonna start out by just filling in our brow. I got this brow pencil from the beauty supply store. It was like $4.99 and I love it. It's so natural. It works just like my brow pencils for MAC. Like, and it even has a spoolie at the end, so that's a big bonus. So just go ahead and outline your brow and then we're gonna fill it in. Real simple, quick and easy. I love this. brow in we're gonna go ahead with the the same pencil and just kind of mimic the brow hairs and that just gives you a more realistic look to your brow and then taking a darker pencil this is I want to say stud from MAC I'm just filling in some more little fake brow hairs just to make it look a little bit more natural and then taking my NC40 concealer I think this is a studio finish concealer from MAC. I'm just concealing my eyebrow. I've learned that using these more creamier consistency type concealers is like the best for your brows. You're gonna get the best shape, the best coverage, and yeah, I just love it. And I like using a color that's more natural, like to my skin tone. I'm an NC42 in my MAC foundation, so the NC40 is perfect for me. It's not too light, light, it's not too dark, it's easy to blend, and I just like it. So I like to connect my concealer and fade my brow while my eyebrows are concealed. It just makes it a bit more easier for me. And I'm just blending out the concealer and I'm about to apply my lashes. My lashes are from the Stay Blowing Minds collection on Instagram. You can purchase them from stayblowingminds.com and these are in the style obnoxious. They're like my favorite mink lashes and they're so high quality you guys like I'm so in love with these. Alright so after I apply my lashes I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Match Master Foundation from MAC in the color 6.0 and just put that on my face. I'm using a Sonya Kashuk brush. I always say that wrong. I think, I, I really don't know if I'm saying it right or wrong, but yeah, these brushes are the bomb. I always get all the sets when they come out. Although, I'm not really impressed with the one that they have for their winter collection. It's not really my favorite. I'm not too fond of the brush fibers and all that, but all the other ones have been good so far. So I like how dense this brush is, especially for liquid foundation. It blends it out perfectly. Like, it just looks so much like my skin. But yeah, I'm taking the 6.0 Match Master and just putting that all over my face and of course bringing it down to my neck. Right now I have some of the NC45 Studio Fix Foundation, powder foundation. I'm just setting my liquid foundation because I do have oily skin. And this is another Sonia Kashuk brush. So once you put that all over, we're going to set our face. And then after that, conceal. And I'm using medium beige and um, from LA Girls Pro Concealers. And I'm just putting that under my eyes. I like this color better than the yellow color corrector. And I know that's surprising because I always use the yellow color corrector for my highlight under my eye but I really have been feeling the medium beige I have my concealer all blended out I'm just gonna take a little sponge and apply my 
baking powder onto my face. I'm using the Luxury Banana Powder from Makeup Revolution. You can get this from Ulta, and I think it's only like $8, $6 $8, so that's really affordable and it works so long. And then taking my Dark Deepest um, Studio, no, it's not Studio Finish, Mineralized Powder from MAC, I am just contouring my face using a angle brush from MAC. And I really love how warm this makes me look. Like, it doesn't make me look red. It just makes me look, like, glowy and bronze, if that makes sense. And I'm just contouring my nose. I'm using gold deposit for the highlight. And after we put our highlighter on, I'm going to take my brown lip pencil from glamglizzy.com. And currently, you can only purchase these in a set, like with Bronze Baby, and you get the lip liner. It's a duo. But I think I'm going to add them on there individually because y'all always ask me where my brown liner is from. So if y'all want me to do that, comment it down below so I can add it because I love this brown lip liner. I haven't met or haven't used anyone like it before. And then I'm taking the NYX um, lip liner and I'm just kind of. I guess using that to blend out the brown liner it's a more like pinkish nude so it matches my lips so it makes it easier to blend out the brown liner and taking my glam glizzy glitter gloss in the color clear hologram I'm just putting that on y'all know this is my favorite lip combo ever like I love this stuff so much it's so freaking pretty All right, and now to the hair. Um, this wig is from richgirlhairco.com or richgirlhairco on Instagram. I installed it myself, but my first install was by Bree Styles. She's the best. I think her Instagram is Bree Styles with two underscores on IG. And I'm just going to take down these pin curls. I curled these myself. If y'all want a tutorial on how I do my pin curls, let me know. Because I will make a video for that. And this wig curled so freaking easily. Like, some hair, like, you can't curl that well. But this really did well with curling. And I used a flat iron. So, you know, you have to finesse that sometimes. And this wig was, like, so easy to work with.
Lancome. I got this from the beauty supply store for $20. And I'm just using this to make sure that all of my roots and all of that are really, really flat and straight. It just makes it look more natural. And we're done. Bye, y'all.